Hi Gemini, today I'm going to do a love reading for the uh, final three weeks of January from the 7th to the 31st. I'm going to start with the Celtic Cross using the tarot cards, then I'm going to pull some oracle cards just to see what extra information we can get. Okay, looking at love for Gemini in January, please spirit. Love for Gemini. bottom you have the ace of wands i'll just pop that one over here okay just take a moment to have a look at these i'm just going through your cards here you've got the ten of wands crossed by the pen so the empress the eight of pentacles crowned by the tower in the recent past you've got the six of wands near future you've got the ace of pentacles down in this position of the self you've got the ten of swords your environment, you've got the Three of Pentacles, Hopes and Fears, the Devil, and then Outcome, we've got Strength. And then the jumper was the Nine of Cups. Gemini, just looking at these central cards here, it looks to me like you met somebody um, not in the, or, or developed something like made a connection with somebody in the not too distant future and you had really high hopes for that going somewhere but something's been revealed to you or something's happened to make you question whether this relationship's actually what you think it is. Uh, it also looks to me from the um, Eight of Pentacles down here and the, the Empress that you put in a lot of work into this already you feel or you feel like you've made quite an investment so whether that's an investment as in time um, or emotion or both it seems to me that you feel like you've given to this relationship and that you're quite shocked and upset by whatever's been revealed to you I'm actually getting um, is coming through to me that for some people this is about something about this person's history or something about their past that you've uncovered or or that got casually or somehow came out casually revealed to you or let out that you just doesn't fit together with how you see that person and that it's caused you to question whether this person's the real deal also that's some um, coming up over here again but we'll get to that in a moment yeah it does look like you were feeling when you met this person and, and look I say met but for some of you it's going to be a situation of you knew them but you just got together with them so you knew them um, for some while before that but whatever it is it looks like you've come together with this person and seen some type of future you've invested some time into it you've invested emotion into it and now it's come to a point where something's been revealed and you're thinking what on earth i don't know if if this is really really the real deal or is really viable you're quite hurt by it from the looks of it you know it could be for some of you that um i'm not feeling a third person necessarily being in the um well actually uh, when i say a third person that i'm feeling like someone from their past may still be connected to 
a lot of them for, for a lot of you that there could be the ex is still hanging around or they're still in communication with them and that they haven't let go of this completely and that you've found out about it and it's caused you to, to second guess whether you really will be moving forward with this person or how that will look. It does seem like there's some type of um, offer that's been put on the table or that this person's coming towards you as if they want something long term and that they're serious about you and they don't seem to see what either they don't know that you know about this or they don't see it as an issue so they wouldn't be understanding necessarily why you would see it as some sort of um, questionable situation okay and in your hopes and fears that which i talked about before coming over here um hopes and fears we've got the devil so wondering just about what the um, true nature of this person is do you fully understand them have they portrayed themselves to you as they really are or have they given you a picture of themselves that they want you to see and i think that's what you're wondering at the moment you're wondering if you're seeing the real them or if whatever this information is that's been exposed to you, um, whether it's about an ex or it's something else, you're, it's causing you to question the person that you think you know and whether you really do know them or whether there's more to them than meets the eye. It looks like for some of you, uh, or for most of you actually, you're intending to really keep on top of this, um, go at it with an attitude of independence and not get too, not let this evolve too much further until you have a better understanding of the person. So it's, I'm feeling a real independence with this strength card. It's like, I don't know if I'm going to go too deeply into this coupled and kind of thing because I need to really understand the nature of this person. I really um, need to feel safe with them and I need to feel secure with them. And initially it seemed that they almost seemed too good to be true. So I think there's a lot of questioning going on here. Okay, I'm just going to pull some cards from another deck. That's really interesting, Gemini, because, um, you know, I do get a strong feeling for a lot of you that this is about a connection to a past person in their life that they may be having and that you found out about and maybe that came out casually or it came out in some way that was really unexpected yeah and for others it could be too that the past person they're with it, things you found out that things didn't end the way that they portrayed to you. It's something to do with the what they've presented to you, the way they've presented the situation to you. Okay. So I think there's just some proceeding with caution that's happening here. Okay, what can you tell us about the other person's perspective of this please the person who Gemini is dealing with okay the page of wands okay all right, so straight up, I'm feeling that they have the perspective of they were young when this happened. They were just, it was a casual thing for them. So whatever it was, they're, they're seeing that they've matured since then and that you wouldn't take it that they're the same person. See, they're, they're going from here from the page, that things have changed with them, they've become the knight. Let's have a look where this goes. They didn't know better. They were just learning yeah that's why they didn't tell you about it that's why they haven't talked about it they, they didn't see it as important so for them their their perspective is they don't feel it's a big deal they don't feel it's important they don't really understand your concern um and they may even use that to that those phrases to justify to you why they didn't um tell you about something or or explain something in the true way that it could have been explained Okay, all right, so just having a look here. 
Let's pull some oracle cards for you here, Gemini. Some advice for our Geminis, please. Now, just remember that devil card coming up um, for the nature of the person is more about your hopes and fears. And it, it comes up, it's, it's my feeling that it's your concern about the nature of the person, but it doesn't mean it is their nature. So I feel like you're going to sit back and you're going to watch. And I'm actually not getting that they are i didn't really get um just having a look anything bad about that person other than that they maybe weren't forthright about something so um yeah i think you're going to sit back and just reserve your judgment a little bit until you know more about this honey okay so i'm just run up here so with the the card honey I feel from this one that they may have presented to you the sweetest side of themselves, you know, this the side of themselves that looks like it's um, so pure and that there's, you know, you don't see any any of the um, parts that they don't want you to see and that maybe you were sort of caught in that trap initially and you thought, yes, this, this person's almost too good to be true and you've got that Nine of Cups here as well. So that stands to reason that if you're seeing that, um, aspect of someone and only that aspect of someone it could be easy to to be shocked if you learn something about them or something about the past or that doesn't it doesn't feel congruent with what you feel you know okay treasure okay treasure Yeah, there can be things that they hold on to here and they're holding on to them, I feel, because they they don't want to lose you. So even though the other cards showed that they um, will say to you perhaps that they didn't tell you about these things because they didn't think they were important or it's because it's the past and the past is the past, I actually feel like for a lot of you they will know that you wouldn't be happy about it and that they would feel like by telling you that and letting that out, letting that out of the box, they risk losing you. So they don't want to, you know, risk losing something that they think they've found. So I don't know that it was malicious, but it may have been intentional to not mention something. Okay. And adapt. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Time to adapt, time to integrate this new information into the image that you have of this person and your understanding of of them as a whole and to make sure that you feel comfortable with the level of trust and where you want to take things with them. So I think that um, that's why you'll take this little uh, step. I'm not really saying a step back, but maybe just a little bit of holding on to that independence a bit more tightly to give yourself time to adapt to this new information and um, and get comfortable with it and maybe talk about it and you know see how you really feel about it and what it means to the relationship so I think that will be a big part of January for you but I hope that that's helped and uh, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe if you haven't and thank you Gemini for watching thanks